Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Thanks for stopping by. So today's video is going to be a, another B6 plan with me, but this time it's gonna be my first plan ahead, which is exciting. So I'm using this bitty kit from Glam Planner, which is, I mean, it's absolutely divine. Like I just, I love it. So you can see the bitty kit here, the format, which is just fantastic. I love it. And then I also used this kit in my main spread a few weeks ago, so I have some leftovers, which is perfect. This is my favorite way to do spreads in this planner, is a bitty kit plus leftovers. So I've got two extra boxes, um, because the bitty kit comes with four boxes and I need five, and now I have six, <laughs> and then I have some extra glitter headers, which ended up being not quite enough but I made it work so that you couldn't really tell which was great so then I'm using this pink it's not really rose gold I say it's rose gold but it's definitely it's pink pink foil um that I made myself to it actually looks a little rose gold on yeah it looks very rose gold on camera it is definitely straight up pink if you saw the foil roll it's pink foil so anyway I thought that went pretty nicely with the kit so um, then I chose these purple glitter date covers from SBC. I had these from ages ago. Um, and then I'm using date dots from Sticky Essentials. And as you can see, I'm trying to work out the dates because I don't have many left on this sheet. Um, so I ended up using darker purple than what I really wanted to. I wanted to use the lighter purple, but the dates didn't match up. So I had to use the dark, which I mean, not the end of the world, but yeah. So then putting the date covers in, and as you can see, these just line up perfectly with the print pression boxes, which is chef's kiss, love. It makes it so easy. I actually love the lines in this planner. I wouldn't want lines in my main planner, like no way, but I really like the lines in this. It makes it easier to line things up because I don't sort of jam pack this planner. It's a little bit more white space. So the lines help me line things up, which works well. Then I'm putting in my date dots, as you can see. Oh, actually, you can't really tell. The um, the date covers are definitely like a lavender. And then the date dots are more of like an eggplant purple. So definitely different colours, but there's a few different purples in the kit. And it's kind of like celestial or the night sky. So dark purple works too. Then moving on to my glitter headers. So um, as you can see, I'm using the ones from the kit primarily up the top. I always like to do that, kind of make the top look as organized and as neat as possible, I guess. And then whatever I have left or have to, if I have to go digging through leftovers um, to find other glitter headers, then I'll do that. But they always go around the boxes because I just think you can't really see it as much as you can sort of in that top row. I just love this rust colored orangey red by the way it's so I think it's the perfect breakup color like I love it it's I really love the colors in this it's really nice then um I kind of sped through this quite quickly because I don't think you guys need to watch me struggle with these but these are just some date day extenders that I made myself just out of plain paper and then I cut them on silhouette um because I really wanted to use both fashion girls. I couldn't decide and I wanted to use both. Um, so I did a little day extender, which I definitely didn't, I don't need the day extension. And as you see, I definitely don't use it that way. Um, but I just wanted to use both boxes. So here's me <laughs> fumbling around with it. I'm not great with these. So <laughs> that's why I sped through it because this went for like a good few minutes. And as you can see, I ripped it up, screwed that one up, had to do another one. <laughs> just not going well um I realized that I wanted this girl on the outside and then this one on the inside so I had to rip it off and then there we go doesn't quite line up that's fine doesn't bother me and then I also have a bit of trouble I think from memory sticking it on the page so just all around oh no that actually went pretty nicely all round good times and then as I said I don't actually end up using the like space underneath so it's not really an extender it's just a you a way to use an extra box I guess so always do my top boxes first um, and then I'll do my hopefully bottom washi I should anyway let me see if that's what I do oh how beautiful is that 
telescope though, honestly. So stunning. Oh, yep. We've got the washi out and looking back, this washi absolutely does not match whatsoever with this kit. But I liked it. I thought the bow colour like really matched the, it's like a copper orange. I thought it really matched the rust colour. But I mean, the purple is way too warm in this um, kit the purple is a really cool purple and this washi is just so warm <laughs> look at it I mean that does not go but I mean some of these simply gilded washies that I have like when am I ever going to use this combination like rust bows with purple like I don't know I love it but when am I ever going to use it so I'm happy I used it even though it doesn't match it's not the end of the world um it's still purple and it's still that rust color so yeah um i think all my other purples have like silver and hollow and i was like well that's going to look even worse so let's do this and yeah as you can see very warm but that's okay moving on to my boxes so i think i hope i'll do my bottom boxes next yes so as you know i do my bottom boxes next because I know when to line it up with the washi and then I do the middle box last to make sure it's relatively in the middle between the two. Obviously not perfect but um, I do try and line it up in the middle as best as I can. This is generally my preferred layout of my boxes. Um, I don't know why I just think this kind of is pleasing on the eye. I did a different, the week I'm currently in which is the next week you'll see I did a different formation of boxes and I just don't really like it as much um I've been doing this one for a few weeks now um and yeah it's definitely my favorite so I'll probably go back to it next week or next spread I should say <laughs> so now I'm counting the glitter headers and I realize there's not enough headers so I'm trying to work out what to do do I try and find some more do I live with it what do I do and in the end I decided to live with it and just not put um washi on the two the bottom of the two top boxes so i in the end you don't even really notice so it was fine i'd rather do that than try and pull some in um and yes as you can see there i just don't have the top of the bottom bottom of the top <laughs> bottom of the top um so then because this is a plan ahead um spread I am putting in my important events, so obviously work um, is the first one, so I mark in all my shifts for the week, and then as you can see, I decide, like, I don't put anything under the day extender, because um, as I said, it's not a day extender, it's an extra full box use, let's call it, <laughs> so I'll put in all my, um, what are they called, heart checklist flag bottom things, I don't know what to call it, hearts, heart flags, I don't know, you know what they are. So I put those in for all of my shifts for the week and then I think I'll put my foil on next. Let's see. Oh, no, I'll come back to my foil. Ah, oh, that's right. I went to stick this box down originally but forgot about work so I had to peel it back up. That's why the week one uni is already on there. So I like to put that on a Monday just to denote which uni week I'm in so I know what I've got, you know, where I am in the semester and what I've got coming up. So that goes on a Monday and obviously this is week one. Next, I think I'm doing my boxes. What am I doing next? Yes, my lectures. So I've, I haven't mentioned this in the past, but I do uni online um, and I do it part time because obviously I work two jobs. So it's a little bit intense. Um, so I have two classes per semester. So this is me just popping in my two classes, which this semester they happen to both be on the same day which is 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. and that drives me insane like I do not want to be doing a class at 7 p.m. but here we are so like they both go on the same day drives me insane <laughs> good uh, you have the whole week to spread out but no they're on the same day so anyway I pop those two boxes in with my little watch lecture script and then I go in um you'll see and I pop in the <sighs> I write the class names um, then I'm doing my works group, so this is a little out of order. Not really sure why I'm doing it this way, but that's okay. Put in my work scripts, um, obviously, because that's, you know, the majority of my day. I spend 
I say at work in brackets, but I am working from home. Um, I've been working, I guess, would be a better way to describe it. There's me struggling with one of the scripts because, as I said before, I make them. So the cuts aren't great. Quality isn't great, but they do the job for me, which is all I need. So those are my five shifts at one job and then my two shifts at another. Um, and then last but not... Oh, no, I don't have an assignment this week. So that is the end of the base for this week. Okay, so starting with the day by day. So on Monday, I used a movie marquee that I had left over from the kit to mark that I watched New Moon. So if anyone... Anyone who doesn't know, I'm a massive Twihard <laughs> from way back when. So I just finished Midnight Sun and I wanted to kind of keep the ball rolling. So I watched New Moon. I have since, or oh, I'm now currently reading a fanfic that is from Edward's point of view, which is absolutely incredible. I've read it before um, and it honestly feels like Stephanie Meyer wrote it. It's so long. It goes through every book. It's amazing. So... I am reading that at the moment, but at the time I just wanted a quick fix, so that's why I just watched the movie. Then I am using a cloud from cloud sticker from Stella Bow Sticker Co. and a Once More With Love Munchkin to mark that I filmed planner videos. I couldn't find a box that I liked, so I just put it straight on the paper. Then on Tuesday, again, I couldn't find a box that fit, so I cut a half box. I think you guys have seen me do this before. Um, I essentially just cut the box in half. I put the bottom bit down, and then I put the top bit on top. That kind of sounds very basic, but essentially they overlap, and I just line it up to wherever I have ever big I want the box. So as you can see, it's kind of a third box size there which fits perfectly in the space so I do that kind of all the time um, for boxes when I use old kits especially that don't have boxes that work then I use this galaxy girl from fox and cactus I love when I get to use these laptop girls they have they're amazing I love the hair so I use that to mark that I watched one of my favorite twitch streamers on twitch um, while I was working so I popped that in and then I used the label from the kit. So it's kind of that rust color that I love um, to mark that I just had a catch up chat with mum. Just, you know, one of those life chats that feels a little different than just every day, like kind of worth marking. So I popped that in and then I tried to find something that would fit in the bottom. This label didn't work, so I ended up putting that back. And then I grabbed a little slither of washi, which worked, which fit perfectly, actually. Um, and a little dollar icon um, to mark from the kit. To mark, it was payday, so I get paid twice a week. Obviously, I have two jobs, so you'll see another payday. Um, but this one is for my part-time job, so I use that little icon there. Um, and then I actually don't even have anything for... I'm looking at the spread now and I forgot to go back and put something in the chat. When I wrote down chat with mum, I didn't put a little nothing in there, so it's blank. I might find something, maybe a little heart or something. Anyway, moving on to Wednesday um, is my two lecture day. And then I popped something in the middle and this was me trying to work out the spacing. So that label that didn't fit on the Tuesday fit perfectly here instead. Um, I popped a pastel purple haired laptop girl down and I ended up moving it because it was pastel, sorry, it was galaxy hair overload. Um, there you'll see in a second, there's a lot of laptop girls in one section, but everything just needed a laptop girl. Everything, I, obviously my uni needed it. You'll see what I pop in the little box in between is edit. So I edit on a laptop. So yeah there's a lot of laptop girls <laughs> but I tried to space them out and I used the um the pastel purple head girl as kind of a breakup so it wasn't just four dark purple girls all together um that pastel one is also from fox and cactus it's just a different sheet it's from it's one of my favorite sheets actually it's like all pastel it's got like mint green yellow yellow orange pink green purple blue it's got heaps of colors and they're all pastels um i actually only have a couple of them left but i don't think she does them anymore so i'll be very sad when they run out because i love them they 
go with a lot of spreads. So that's Wednesday. It's my uni day. Moving on to Thursday, um, I popped that box in and then you'll see I actually get rid of it because I had a what are they called? A flat lay instead. Um, I only had two things to mark here, so I couldn't really work out the spacing. So I decided to turn the box sideways. Um, and that sticker, massive sticker is also from Fox and Cactus. Um, I think it's technically like a sick girl, but I used it to mark in my feelings because I was just having an absolute shitter of a day. <laughs> so that was pretty much me with the tissues just soaking. So um, yeah, fun day. And then I realized that I had the flat leg, so I peeled that box up and laid the flat lay down of um, a sort of a game scene, I guess. So we played Fall Guys, so rather than write play Fall Guys with some sort of sticker, I just used a flat lay from Stella Bow. I thought the colors matched pretty perfectly, so I love that. I love using her flat lays, especially in this planner. Then on to Friday... Um, Nothing much happened Friday, actually, so I kind of had to fill in again. I used the box up the top and a little... Actually, I used a lot of fox and cactus in this spread. I'm just realising. A little fox and cactus head um, with Disney, like, Mickey ears to mark that we, we're doing a photo wall in our house, like, one photo of every trip from Disney, um, which is seven trips. So, like, all the Disney parks that we've been to. So we sort of sat down and, and picked some photos that you know, picked the photo from each trip that we wanted to use and ordered prints of them and, and that sort of thing and just kind of had a bit of a, you know, reminisce for when we could do things like fly to Disney. So, yeah, it was kind of nice just to think about something a little more positive for a change. Um, then I used this label from... Label from, label from the kit, obviously, <laughs> um, and this icon from the kit. So it's exactly the same icon because I had two sets because I had the leftovers to mark payday again. And then I used this fox and cactus, surprise, surprise, girl, another massive girl in the heart. I love getting to use these because I don't often get to. Um, it's actually a wine time girl and has cut the wine time off because... To be honest, I used to drink a lot, of, not a lot, that makes me sound bad. A dec I used to drink wine, um, but now I am much more of a gin girl. So I still liked the sticker and it worked perfectly, but I just didn't really need it to say wine time. So I just cut that off and then popped that on. The, um, the purple of her shirt is a little bit different, but I don't often get to use those girl. I don't know her name, um, but that girl, because the purple never goes with anything. So I thought great chance to use it for this kit and I also don't get to use the big stickers very often because they are monstrous so perfect opportunity to use them here then on to the weekend um, again I didn't do any uni because it is my first week and it was just you know this is the teacher this is the assessments blah 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 blah, blah. so kind of more of a memory week again um, so I used three labels the first one at the top is to mark I went on a little bit of a shopping spree, so I haven't really shopped too much this whole six month lockdown, um, but I don't know, something just changed in me this week and I literally shopped from like four or five sticker shops and I've tried a few new things that I haven't before and yeah, went a little nuts. So that, I used that sticker from Glam Planner, it's the teen, I think it's teeny, um, teeny, Bob, teen, I think it's teeny, I don't know. And she's holding like a fistful of stickers, which hopefully will be me once my stickers arrive, um, which is exciting. So, and then moving on, I used this Glam Planner. I think that's Teeny. I don't know. I don't, it's a, one of the characters um, for the beach because it was 27 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, maybe like 85 just working off the few conversions I do know um could be wrong though warm first sort of warm day of the year um so we spent it at the beach which was nice obviously socially distant wearing masks as we have to but it was nice and then I used the little coffee monsters co thingy what's it called emoji to mark we played full guys and then on Sunday I used this 
again teeny bop i don't know which one it is i can't remember to mark that we halloween decorated which was really exciting um halloween is definitely not something that's celebrated in australia very much although it is becoming more popular but being such you know american fans we love to travel to the states um we definitely celebrate it so we decorated the house which you probably would have saw on my instagram stories um which was great it looks amazing we really love it um and then i used a same setup as i did earlier in the week with the stella bow planner and the once more we love little film icon to mark that we filmed or i we i <laughs> filmed a video um so that's it for the stickers and then i'm just going to go through and fill everything out And that's it for the finished spread. So I hope you guys like this format. I hope you guys like the spread and the format of doing the plan ahead and then filling in the gaps because that's how I'm going to be using this planner going forwards and obviously filming it as well. So thanks for watching and I will see everyone hopefully in the next video. Bye.